Selecting the proper siphon U2. Now that we are discussing pre-filters, Aqualink manufactures a siphon U-tube type pre-filter unit. These pre-filter units are made up of three major components. The first is the skimmer box. The second is siphon U-tube. And the third is the mechanical filtration and aeration chamber. In this segment, we will discuss how to select the proper siphon U-tube. You are probably watching this segment for one of two reasons. Because you are about to make a knowledgeable pre-filter purchase or because you have either broken or are having problems with the U-tube in your current model and you need to replace it. When using a pre-filter assembly, a siphon U-tube is a key component to the success in the proper fluid control between your aquarium and your filtration system. Compromising price for quality could be disastrous. The tube should be professionally manufactured. Bending plastic tubing properly is a delicate process that stretches the plastic and thins the wall. Stretching unevenly can cause hairline cracks, making it brittle and easy to break. There are several things to consider when making your selection. This tube should be made clear so you are able to monitor the functionality during operation. Size. Since we professionally manufacture U-tubes in-house, we are capable of making any custom size. However, we do standardize in two different diameter tubes. A 7 inch, inch inside diameter with a 1 inch outside diameter and a 1 and 1 eighth inch inside diameter with a 1 and 1 quarter inch outside diameter. You should never have a siphon U-tube with a larger inside diameter than the bulkhead fitting in the overflow box, which is the fitting at the bottom here. A standard overflow box has a one inch PVC fitting, and as you can see here, the inside diameter of the tube is approximately the same size as the bulkhead fitting. If you have one that's larger, it's not only pointless, it can and will have an adverse effect on the fluid control by slowing the velocity through the tube, allowing air to become trapped in the crown, eventually breaking the siphon. If you're experiencing air becoming trapped in the tube, purchasing a smaller diameter tube can be one solution. Using a smaller tube increases the velocity through the tube, pushing small air bubbles through so they can so they cannot accumulate in the crown of the tube. We make three standard lengths, three standard leg lengths. A four inch model, which is for our micro pre-filter models. A five inch model, this is the most common among manufacturers. And a six inch model for Aqualink standard models. Longer leg lengths are recommended if your pre-filter unit permits. Longer models start easier and maintains a more reliable siphon. The radius reach is standard is two and a quarter inches. This fits a one and a half inch US hanger bracket. The Euro tube has a four inch reach. This fits a three inch Euro hanger bracket. Custom sizes are available upon request. To select the proper size U-tube, we're going to measure from the top of the dam wall, which is down inside of the filter unit, to the top of the hanger bracket. In this case, that's four inches. Or if you have an overflow box without a dam wall and it uses a standpipe, like this model here, you will measure from the lowest opening in the standpipe to the top of the hanger bracket. 
in this case, from the top of the standpipe to the top of the hanger bracket, which is here, that measures three inches. That would use our three inch model standpipe and siphon U tube. You want to make sure that you add one inch. The radius reach. Measure across from the horizontal section. The radius reach on the tube is here. In order to get that reach, you want to measure the horizontal reach across the top of the pre-filter box. In this case, the standard size is one and one half inch. The U.S. standard YouTube radius reach is actually two and a quarter inch, but it fits to one and a half inch hanger bracket. We make U-tubes of two types of materials. The first, the most common, is fully functional, yet less expensive, and is usually included as part of a pre-filter and filter package. It is brittle and easily broken if dropped when handling. It can be identified by the yellow tint of the material when it is turned up on its end. Polycarbonate is brake resistant, made of a softer material that can absorb impact. Made of the same material as bulletproof glass. It can be identified by the blue tint of the material when it is turned up on its end. This is acrylic. This is polycarbonate. Now we're going to perform three standard tests which you will see here in our shop today. The first will be a drop test. We're in our shop which has a concrete floor. We have the two models of our siphon tubes. The one you see on your left is a polycarbonate model again and the one on your right is an acrylic model. I'm going to drop these tubes from approximately five foot at the same time. Watch the difference when I drop them from five feet. What happens? Now I dropped the models on the floor and you can see the one on the left, the polycarbonate model, was undamaged where the acrylic model is damaged on the crown, also around the sides. Okay, now we're going to do a hammer test. We're going to take, this is the polycarbonate model, and hit it with a hammer. Again, no damage has occurred. On the acrylic model, it breaks into pieces. Okay. So we have two different two pieces that we have earlier. The top one is made of polycarbonate. The bottom one is made of acrylic. We're going to put this in a vise. Put it on an angle here so you can see it. Shove them down in there a little bit. And then we're going to put some pressure on them. You notice the acrylic model had broke. Okay? It's cracked. It's pretty bad. Useless. But yet the polycarbonate model is still going. It's made of a softer plastic, so it's able to do that. Now, the reason why we're showing you these tests are is there's different prices that vary. So when you're on the internet and you're choosing a model, you probably want to go with the polycarbon if you think there's going to be a chance that you're going to break it. It's only a few dollars more because the material itself is a little bit more expensive. But like I said before, you want to make sure that you have the proper leg length, the reach, and the diameter tubing that you want.